Hey everybody, my name is Doug Stevenson. Uh, I'd love to welcome you to the very first episode of our show, Meet Firebase, where you get to meet the people who make Firebase happen. Uh, our first guest tonight is with Firebase Test Lab. She's a software engineer. Please welcome Odomichi Anikpo. Hi, Doug. Hi, hi. It's so great to have you on the, uh, on the show. It's my pleasure to be here. Tell me, Odomichi, what do you do with Firebase Test Lab? Well, on Test Lab, I'm a senior software engineer and tech lead, and I'm currently working on providing even more insights to developers who use Test Lab to test their applications in the cloud. So there's, you know, obviously you can test your applications, but it goes beyond that. Uh, what, what do we really want developers to take away from Firebase Test Lab? Well, what we're trying to do is empower developers to fully integrate testing within the development process. So allowing developers, while they're coding in the Android Studio IDE, to test their application in the cloud do it to our web interface, or also integrate it with a continuous integration process so that they're aware of any regression that may have been introduced with a new build, for instance. Sounds like it would be really good for overall application quality to, Absolutely. to, to make use of Firebase Test Lab. Okay, that's exactly. great. Uh, so I see you in the office all the time um, and on video conferences, mm -hmm. um, but I don't think I've ever got the chance to sit down and talk with you about right. personal stuff. Right. So I'm really curious, where are you from? I am from Côte d'Ivoire, also known as Ivory Coast. Uh, which is on the west coast of Africa. Okay, what's something interesting about Ivory Coast that people don't know? Well, on an international level, Ivory Coast is known for being the world first producer of cocoa. So mm -hmm. if you've had chocolate today, you very likely have had the chocolate made out of cocoa produced in Ivory Coast. Oh, wow. And it's also known for its incredible soccer team. I'm a soccer fan. I, oh. I, I went to the World <laughs> Cup in 2010 to, oh, wow, that's to great. cheer for our team. Yeah. Wow, I don't really follow soccer. Uh, I follow hockey. Do they have a hockey team by <laughs> no. any chance? No. no. It's a, probably not the right <laughs> place in the world for people to be playing hockey. So <laughs> I'll, 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 uh, I'll dash my hopes on that one. So I also understand it's a, it's a, fr a French-speaking nation, right? That's correct. Which probably helps explain your accent, which I think is, is wonderful. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. What do you do when you're not working on Firebase Test Lab? Um, when I'm not working on Firebase Test Lab, I love hiking, I love bicycle riding, and most of all, I love to travel. Uh, last year, I did a uh, trip around the world solo. That was a very, very amazing experience. Wow, wow. So you went around the world solo. I did. That's, that's a very bold trip to take, isn't it? Very bold. Because <laughs> I don't know if I could do that myself. I'm kind of a homebody. I don't really travel a lot. Uh, I read a lot. Um, nice. I travel for business, and that's about it. So I'm kind of curious, what prompted you to want to take a trip like this? Uh, well, sometime uh, end of 2014, I, I, I had an opportunity to take some time off work and, you know, and, uh, and go travel. I was hesitant to do so, but at one point, I recall thinking, uh, about a younger version of myself and and that little girl had really high expectations and big dreams for what she would do when she grows up hmm. and then I thought if she was to look at her you know future life uh, future life she would have been a little disappointed and so hmm. that to me was motivation to you know just get up and go and just you know follow that dream to 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 go on and discover the world Wow, that's great. You feel like you, you sort of met what you were, you were trying to uh, uh, go for there? Yes, I felt like I did. And not only that, I think it was just the beginning. I, I really wanted to take away, and uh, not just a motivation for the trip, was that I want to live you know, my, my, my life in a um, more audacious manner and you know, live bold, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your blog that you did is called travellivebold.com. That's, so, that's correct. Yeah, go check that out. Uh, it's a lot of beautiful pictures, both of the scenery and of you. So um, I would encourage people to, to go check that out if they're interested in some uh, of your destinations. Absolutely, and I would say I'll add, you know, for me it's travel, but I'll urge anyone to fill in the blank for what it is their passion is and, you know, and do it and follow it and continue to live bold. Oh, that's great advice. As much as you've traveled, certainly you have some connections back home still, right? Yes, yes, absolutely. Not too long ago, just this past August, I, I traveled home to Ivory Coast and uh, to Abidjan specifically, specifically, which is my hometown. And I got to meet the Google developer groups in, in Ivory Coast. So that was a very, very nice encounter to um, get to meet the developer community in Ivory Coast mm -hmm. who's extremely motivated and you know, asking about Google and Firebase. Uh, that was that was very nice. What kind of software development do they do uh, in the in the GDG? They do primarily Android development. Oh. As as you know, Africa yeah. is not just mobile first, but it's pretty much mobile only. And uh, Android is 
yeah. is primarily develop the development that they do. Yeah, I have a few more Android devices here. I mean, I can't sit on <laughs> all of them all the time. So in fact, I'm like, I'm actually a little bit uncomfortable. I'll put that one there as well. I know. Can I ask you wh why so many devices? What, what uh, are you doing with so many phones? <laughs> well, you know, there's your work device, your home device, and then there's the one that you keep in reserve in case batteries get low because you want to watch <laughs> videos. That, uh, I, yeah. And then there's you know the one that you know that has the special you know camera in it that's good for photos. So I carry just a few with me because you never know what you <laughs> might need, right? So um, nice. yeah, but you know that's all I need for now. <laughs> Speaking of Android, uh, there was a big announcement recently with Firebase Test Lab. Uh, what's that? Tell me about that. Well, uh, Firebase Test Lab is now available in uh, Firebase uh, Spark plan, which now allows developers to test their application for free. And without having to provide a credit card or having a billing account, you're able to test your application in the cloud seven tests per day. So this is great because uh, you said they don't need a credit card or a billing account. Uh, and that's been Absolutely. one of the biggest, at least my understanding, that's been one of the biggest barriers to adoption is the moment you hit that, that paywall, you're just, you don't have incentive to keep going, right? Or Co correct. And, mm. and now you can pretty much go, you know, go out there and try Firebase Test Lab, mm -hmm. right? It's super easy um, and no need to, to sign up for, you know, for a, um, a paid plan and you're able to test your applications. Mm. And what about uh, people who are already on a paid plan? What happens to their accounts? Uh, nothing changes at all pe for people who are on a paid plan. Okay, okay. So the, so the existing hourly rate for the fully, played, uh, fully paid plan stays the same? Correct. Yeah, you know, one of the things we uh, talked about a little bit was that uh, Firebase Test Lab manages all of your devices for you. So for testing, yes. if you have a bunch of devices kind of like this, um, you don't have to worry about setting up that lab and maintaining it, or even just acquiring all the devices could be its own uh, different problems. So exactly. um, I'd like to play a game to illustrate how okay. that how that uh, ends up for some people. So um, do you want to play that game with me? Sure. Tell me what's okay. So it's how a, we playing? It's a bit of a physical challenge. Um, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna get you to do here is uh, if you could. Uh, let's see, hold out your hand on your knee, so we'll like put it out in front of you. Just one hand. Just, Just one, one hand. hand. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, and hold it flat. I'm going to give you a, a platform. <laughs> okay. Am I trying to balance all these phones? Yeah, all yeah. Right. So I'm going to start giving you devices, and you, if you could reach these. All right. Put as many of them on there as you can. Okay. And are we trying to have as high a tower as possible. Yeah, I want to see how I want to see how far you get. <laughs> and these are like all different Android devices, I think. Oh, I have large ones too. Yeah, we're gonna have quite a variety to deal with. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna switch hands here. <laughs> okay. I am right-handed. There we go. Alrighty. Has anyone tried this before? I put a few in a stack just to see how it would look. You're doing very good. Already. Don't tell me there are more devices. There's back a couple there. more. Oh no. I, think <laughs> I have uh, a couple here. I'm afraid to drop them. I think I'm afraid I have, to drop them. I think I have a few more too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I That's a good, it's looking oh. kind of bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what I love about Android is there are so many different devices to choose from. Uh, you can get whatever you want, whatever hardware you want, whatever configuration you want. But it can be kind of taxing for developers to deal with all these different device configurations. And so uh, Firebase Test Lab can make that testing a whole lot easier. So you don't have to buy, maintain, and set up all these different varieties. So Absolutely. Um, yeah, I hope the game helped illustrate that a little bit. <laughs> Thank you so much for being on the show. Well, it was my pleasure to be here. It Thanks was, for It was good stay. having you as our first guest. <laughs> good luck on your future travels. Thank uh, you. And for those of you at home, be sure to check out her blog on travellivebold.com. So that's all we have time for. Be sure to stay tuned here to the Firebase YouTube channel. Uh, see you next time on Meet Firebase.